Hello everyone, my name is Droogie Forever, and today it's time for another development blog on my a Twin Peaks fan game in the Wolfenstein 3D engine. Um, so as you can see, I have finished moving everything to version 5 of the engine. We were using version 4.62 before, and um, I had to recreate basically everything from scratch. It kind of sucked. Um, but let's see what we can do. We got a new game, and we have, finally, text cutscenes. Um, I cannot get rid of that black bar at the bottom. I, I It's inexplicable. I have no idea how to fix it. I've tried. Um, I did finally fix the issue with the character animations with the white border, but I cannot fix this border. I have no idea how to get rid of that. But anyway, you wake up in the red room. You have only vague memories of how you got here via a strange grove of trees in the woods. You need to escape, but the problem with that plan is everything in the red room looks the same. The walls here are all just red curtains, and the floor is just that same black and white pattern over and over again. Diane, Laura, and Mike are no help. Agent Cooper has some doppelgangers that are no help either, but there may be a helpful Cooper somewhere if we can just find that grove again. So basically, we need to make our way out of the red room. And I am noticing that on OBS, it's making the game look a lot worse than it actually is reds are not nearly as bright and things look a little ugh, brownish like these colors look brownish but uh, but to me they're more black well black and like dark brown but this is like poop brown that doesn't look as good as it does on mine and the floor looks way better on mine why doesn't it look as good on obs Damn it, I put a lot of work into these textures, and now OBS makes it look like shit. Hold on a second. I got an idea. Um, Alright, hold on a second. Okay, now, what if I just stretch this there? And then I'll just leave the black bars on the top and bottom. And that should make it look at least a tiny bit better. If I keep it at its regular resolution, eh, it still looks like crap. Why is OBS making this look like shit? I don't know. Anyway, we still have Laura, we still have Diane, we still have the chairs. So, let me show you what's new. So, do you hear that? These steps are Agent Cooper steps that I took from the show. I literally made a recording of his steps on the floor in the red room. Chopped it up just, just one footstep. And then made that our footstep sound. So that's where the footstep sound came from. Now, opening the door. Now sounds like opening curtains. And when it closes... Here, hold on. It just sounds like curtains. Also, turning, I sped this up a good bit. Because people were having trouble turning around to fight bad guys behind them quickly. So I sped this up, and we can speed it up even more if this isn't fast enough. Since it's not mouse-based and you have to use the arrow keys to turn, um, I can speed this up even more if we need it. Alright, now here's the Agent Bobs. Or Killer Bobs. Why do I say Agent Bobs? And you'll see the white border is gone. See, he used to have a crazy white border. So his crazy white border is gone, so are most of the other characters and things. Um, there's Garmin Bosia, still tiny. There's the arm. Ah, I love that I changed the sounds for these. So much better. Laura's Diary still makes that sound. I also made Bob a tiny bit harder to beat, and I made him more powerful. Since you run into him so much, I didn't want... Um, there's my Agent Coopers. I didn't want him to be able to be so easily defeated, but that also came with issues where I would die pretty often. So I added more health in different places. Um, and of course now you can see how much faster we can turn, because before we couldn't turn anywhere nearly that fast. Damn! There's the coffee. And hot. Oh, 
Yeah, Bob. Bob, uh, he's faster. I can make him even faster than that so that he's harder to pin down. Um, but since we're using arrow keys, I didn't want to make it too difficult to get him. Laura is pretty fast. I think I turned hers up a good bit. Um, Bob's is not, but his endurance and his power, so his hit points and his and how powerful his shots are was I turned that up a good bit, maybe like three times what it was before. Yeah, I saw the diary. I'm not gonna pick it up. Damn. Definitely take the coffee. And hot. All right. This this is. I think I was just here. Hold on. Yeah, that's an issue. I think he can shoot through the doors. I'm not 100% sure, and I don't know how to fix that. Still trying to figure that out. Because the doors are solid objects, but you can't destroy them. So it's one of those things where they're not supposed to be able to shoot through anything solid and the doors are a solid object. But as the door's moving, it's not a solid object. So it's weird, like if the door's opening and closing, I think they're able to shoot through it for a moment after it closes because it still has that uh, like open. It's basically the game kind of thinks it's still open. So I have to try to figure out how to fix that. Ooh, coffee, but I don't need it. Go, go through the door. Go through the door. There's so many bobs. Oh boy. Oh yeah, and I have to fix one of his animations. One of his animations, he goes up higher in the air. And that's not supposed to be like that. Oh. He's behind me. Being a jerk. Yeah, he's being a jerk back here. Oh. All right. I need to find my way around. Oh crap, now I'm lost. I'm lost in my own game. I hate how the sounds overlap each other. I'm not a big fan of that. But I, I can't fix it. I don't know how to fix it. I knew there was one here, that's why I stopped. I knew he was gonna be a pain. Oh yeah, I forgot, the gun's different too. This is the base gun that comes with, um, this is the base gun that comes with Raycast and Game Maker version 5, so it's different than the gun that came with the other version. I, I did attempt to put Agent Cooper's gun in the game last time, and it didn't work, but I may be able to do it again. I can try again now that I'm in the other version of the engine. It might work better this time. I'm not sure. Basically, I had an issue where I went, I went to add his gun, and it... I went to add his gun, and it, um... It made it, like, invisible. It was very not good. Find it. Oh shit. Forgot there were so many of you back here. Alright, here we go. There's Laura. See, she's not white on the border anymore. Oh, I'm so happy that worked. 
I might need to make her a little bit, a little bit uh, stronger. Room three one five. That was the room where Agent Cooper was shot. Yeah. So the key um, is the one thing that has like weird white stuff around it, and I don't know how to fix it. I'm gonna have to mess with it. All right. So we finally reached the woods, which now look a little off color now that I've changed the engine. So I might have to do something about that. See if I can fix the color of this. There's Mike. <laughs> so every time you clear a level, he says, is it future or is it past? All right, so I have not finished this level yet, and I'm not even going to show you any of the rest of it. So this is the preview of what level two might look like. I haven't changed up the walls much or anything. Basically, it's going to be a forest. Now, I have to figure out, because in this engine, you can only use one thing for one thing. So the footsteps that I'm using in the red room, you'll notice it sounds like that here. Well, I don't want that to be here. I want it to sound like he's walking on dirt. But if I do that, it changes it for level one, too. So the way I might have to do this is create level two as a separate game. And you can create like four games and put them in the same folder and it'll read them all. So I may have to like create each level as its own separate game, put them in the folder. And then when you're done each one, you, you go to the next game instead of, you know, within the same level. Because there's a lot of limitations in this engine that are really weird. Like um, the next level door. I can't change that for level two. So you saw how Cooper was at the Grove at the end of level one. That's the door that has to be at the end of level two if I stick with this with this uh, format instead of making it a whole new game for level two, um, which sucks. Um, you can only have one kind of ammo. You can't change it. Only can have one kind of health for the entire game. You can't change it. Um, and the key it can only be one kind of key and one kind of next level door. You can change walls, sprites, walls. You have like a limit of 40 amongst all the levels. Sprites, you have 10, I think, amongst all the levels combined. Um, so, I, you know, right now, walls, I'm not even using 10. Sprites, I only have um, two, which is the chair and Leland Palmer's chair. Um, those two are you know, Leland's destructible. The chair is not, um, weapons. I can add like six weapons if I want, but the player has to stay the same. The next level door has to stay the same ammo, health, and key all have to stay the same amongst all the levels. So I don't know how I'm going to work that out because the exit door is going to still look like the grove of trees, no matter what the level looks like. So I may have to either fit the story around being stuck in the grove Still, like, you get out, but you're actually still in the red room. Also, this ground looks more purple than brown. I might have to do something about that, because I wanted it to look like dirt. But it does match the picture with the grove of trees. Um, and these are just placeholder trees on the outside here. And then the sky has stars in it, because it's supposed to be nighttime. But, yeah. Okay, well, there you go. Um, the new version of the game with the new engine is going to be up on itch.io, I think tomorrow, May 18th, and you'll see this video today, May 17th, albeit late. I'm going to upload it late uh, in the day. Um, but yeah, well, I'll try to figure out what to do about this next level. I think I'm going to have to create it as a separate game, which really sucks, but... Um, you know, if that's the way it has to be done, that's the way it has to be done. Because I want to make sure that I'm not just reusing the same stupid assets over and over again. That And it doesn't make sense. If you're in the forest and I want level 3 to be like in the town somewhere, which I haven't actually decided yet. But if I want it to be like in the at, near the R&R &R Diner or at the Great Northern Hotel, the next level can't be the Grove of Trees. Like, it, you know, unless I come up with some stupid excuse for it. So... Yeah, I got to figure out what to do about that. But anyway, there you go. Uh, look out for the new update with the engine upgrade tomorrow, May 18th on itch.io, uh, probably around lunchtime or so, maybe even earlier. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short, very short look at level two. 
And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, tell that like button you want to smash. And don't forget to subscribe. You stay you. I'll stay me. Droogie forever. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Later.